Hey puppy people, it's Cindy. I am here today with a couple more doggy vocabulary words for you and another anatomy lesson because the more you know, the further you go. And the more you know about your dog, the better you can be a good and trustworthy pet parent, pet guardian. So your anatomy lesson, your word for the day today is about the ears and the tail. So we're going to talk about ear cropping and tail docking. Why and why not? So ear cropping, it's a standard with some breeds, or it used to be a standard with some breeds, where they would crop or cut a portion of the ear. That's where you see the Dobermans, the pit bulls that have the ears that stand up and it actually cuts off a portion of their ear. It's called ear cropping. They still do it here in the United States and other countries. It is illegal in Canada, European Union, I believe in Australia as well. Many countries are banning it because it is not necessary. It's a cosmetic medical procedure and it can be viewed as cruel. I think you know my opinion about that. You're not a lot of vets do this, at least in this area in Southern California, and the ones that do, um, they will do it and then you'll see dogs, so how it's done is they cut it and then they will usually tape the ear so it stands up. They want to train the ear to stand up like that. And depending on the breed, why they do it or why they did it, I know for Dobermans, the reason they just wanted to look scarier. Uh, because Dobermans originated as, um, I forget the guy's name, Mr. Doberman was his, it was his name, Heyer Doberman, I guess, in German. But he was a tax collector. And he created this breed to go with him to collect the taxes. So yes, he wanted a dog that was pretty intimidating so people wouldn't mess with him. So that's why they started doing it with that breed. And then other breeds, it's a standard that's not ne really necessary. It's for cosmetic purposes only. And tail docking is similar it's where they dock or they cut the tail. They actually amputate a portion of the tail. Again, depending on the breed and the breed standard, how much tail you cut off. Um, I know for poodles, it's like the third vertebrae or the fourth vertebrae. There's, there's breed standards for this. And yes, if you're gonna show your dog, unfortunately in the United States, you still need to do that because it is a breed standard. Again, a lot of other countries have banned it. That's why I can tell a dog that comes from Canada has their tail, or a dog that comes from, from Europe has their tail and their ears. So tail docking they usually do at just a few days old. I remember back in the day working for a vet, actually seeing the procedure, and they do it at a couple days old where the bone isn't completely formed, isn't completely set, so it's easier. Um, it's not the worst surgery that I've seen. The absolute worst surgery that I've seen, and, and you know me, I watched them all, um, is um, decline of cats. And maybe that's something else we can talk about in another video. But decline is where they actually amputate up to the nail bed. So they amputate this portion of, of, a, of a cat to declaw them. Um, it was the bloodiest surgery I've seen. It was just horrible. And from a behavior standpoint of view, all of this really limits the, do the dog and the cat's communication. And there's other ways, if your cat is scratching, this we can talk about in another video, if your cat is scratching the furniture, there's other things that you, that you can do um, where you don't have to re 
resort to surgery. And the same thing with the tail docking, it really doesn't serve a purpose. The, the old adage was that they did it, you know, for hunting dogs because it got in the way of a hunt, I guess. Um, <laughs> I do see some dogs, Labradors in particular, they, they get um, lab tail or happy tail where they wag it so much and it's right at the certain level that they're constantly hitting it on something and it can, and it can cause an abrasion or a sore. Uh, but even that, I don't think, unless your your dog gets an infection from it or something, and at that point, if they need medically to remove it, that's completely different. Uh, but as far as aesthetically, there's no reason to do it. Um, from a behavior standpoint, it, there's a lot of communication that your dog does with their ears and their tail. A lot of communication. How they interact with each other to communicate with one another. And so that we can interpret as they're communicating with us what's going on with them. So when you crop those ears, you dock that tail, you're cutting off a lot of that communication. So it, it complicates things. Besides the fact, uh, why put them through that pain? Why? And I have seen such horrible things. Um, again, the tail docking, they will do it at usually a few days old. I've actually seen it when people have it done when they're an adult, and then it is an amputation. Uh, the ear cropping, uh, of course, these medical procedures aren't cheap. It, the, and insurance isn't your your dog's insurance isn't going to pay for it, so there is a cost to doing all of these things. And so, especially with pit bulls that are coming from less than desirable situations, shall we say, um, they're doing homemade cropping of the ears. It's just horrible stuff. Just horrible stuff. So ear cropping, tail docking, completely unnecessary. Again, if this is something that you're interested in, Talk to your veterinarian is the best I can, advice I can give you for any of this stuff. Uh, but there's really, really no reason to do this. And a, a lot of people think, oh, you just do it. I mean, oh, I have a Doberman. I'm going to crop the ears. You don't have to. You don't have to. It's elective surgery. And frankly, I think there's so much cuter with the on. I love on natural. I'm all about the natural. So I think there's so much cuter with the natural ears and the tails. Um besides behavior wise we just know more what's going on with them so tail docking and ear cropping that's your veterinary anatomy vocabulary words for the day so anyway hope you learned something thanks for hanging out with me go play with your dog till next time